Hi, this is Joe at Cable Guys with a brand new effect for ShaperBox 2. Meet Noise Shaper. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Noise Shaper to create dynamic noise that reacts to your beat. Lo-fi texture and ambience that breathes. Targeted enhancement and layering. Rhythmic noise effects. And more, all in just a few clicks. Let's begin with a drum loop. Think of Noise Shaper as a noise oscillator for any signal. Load it up and Noise Shaper outputs looping noise. It's level reacting to the rhythm and dynamics of your audio. Choose one of over 60 noise samples from the menu, created by sound designers BT, Cyclic and Inside Info. The noises range from synthetic, analog and distorted noise, to field recordings and organic ambience. To vinyl crackle, tape noise and more. And you can import your own samples. Find out how to do this in the ShaperBox 2 manual. Now to the envelope follower, which powers Noise Shaper's reactive modulation. Dial in the amount of noise to add to the dry signal. The envelope follower has two modes. Follow mode tracks dynamics, outputting noise when the input signal is playing. Use threshold to make the noise react only to the loudest peaks, kick and snare for example. For a more relaxed response, increase attack hold and release. Or, for a tighter effect, use short settings. Follow mode is great for adding dynamic sizzle, brightness and texture. Flip over to duck mode and the noise drops in level when the input is present, swelling up in the gaps. If needed, use the depth buttons to boost the envelope strength. Duck mode excels at swelling ambience, pumping noise effects and breathing lo-fi textures. Noise Shaper's upper controls are for tailoring your noise. Adjust the noisy level with a trim control. Use the high and low pass filters to restrict the noise's frequencies and slot it in the mix. And mono the noise signal. Solo the noise with noise only. Useful for creating noise only rhythmic patterns or for splitting the noise to a separate track for mixing. Now to the LFO. Noise Shaper's central LFO modulates noise volume and works together with the envelope follower's reactive effect. Choose a wave preset. Basic and sweep waves are great for simple rhythmic movement. Use the pump waves for rising or ducking effects. or choose Rhythm Waves for groove and flavour. Draw your own LFO waves with the editing tools.
Now up to the band section. Use bands for noise that reacts only to a particular frequency range of the input signal. Drag the high split slider to the left, and the noise will be triggered by the input's low frequencies only. Each band is independent, so you can load different noises in each band. As you can imagine, Noise Shaper brings yet more sonic power to the full Shaper box and its eight Shaper effects. For reactive crunch, push your noise-coated signal into Drive Shaper. Solo the noise, then process it with stereo filtering or phasing. For vinyl or tape effects, send your sounds back in time with pitch shifting, downsampling, drive, filtering and random dropouts. Then add turntable or cassette noise. and experiment with all the shapers for adventurous sound design. That's all for this video. To try out Noise Shaper and the rest of Shaperbox 2 in your tracks, head to cableguys.com.